Good day everyone! Today, we'll talk about an English mathematician named John Wallace. John Wallace is an English clergyman and mathematician known for his partial contribution in infinitesimal calculus. He was born on December 3, 1616 in Ashford, Kent, England. He was first exposed to mathematics in 1631 at Felsted School. And at the school, Wallace learned how to speak and write in Latin, was also proficient in other languages such as French, Greek, and Hebrew. He entered Cambridge University in 1632, which he studied theology, received his master's degree, and at the same year took the Holy Orders. He is also a founding member of the Royal Society which started as an informal gathering of learned men interested in scientific discussion and experiments. In 1649, he became a civilian professor of geometry at Oxford University. He is also often called the father of English cryptography, a title resulting from his activities during the English Civil War. Cryptography is the use of codes and ciphers to protect secrets which began a thousand years ago. He was shown a royal letter written in cipher which he managed to decode in the space of two hours. This feat began his long career as an expert in cryptographics. At the command of the parliament, he exercised special talent by deciphering secret dispatches of Charles I that had fallen into burden hands. Being able to finally indulge his mathematical interest, Wallace had a copy of William Alfred's The Keys to Mathematics and mastered it in about a few weeks. He began to make his own mathematical contributions such as track on conic sections, which is noteworthy for its use of Descartes' coordinate geometry. He identified the ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola with certain equations of the second degree rather than treating them as curves generated by plane sections of a code. Wallace also published The Arithmetic of Infinitesimals, which is the main work who became renowned in the field of mathematics. It served as a springboard to Newton's result on the differential calculus a decade later. He's also known for introducing the symbol of infinity and also laid the groundwork of writing 1 is squared whose index is negative 2 and square root of 2 whose index is 1 half.